So I posted the boss tutorial about a month ago, right? And I get a comment basically asking me what are my tips for transcribing and can I show in a video what my process might look like. So I say to him, you're giving me a lot to think about because I don't think about what my process looks like. However, comma, what I will do is give you guys three tips that have helped me personally get faster at transcribing. My first tip actually comes from a principle that Tony Robbins taught me a while back, which is chunk it down. Whenever you have a song, break that song down into its components. Is it verse, hook, verse, hook, bridge, another hook and then you're done? Are the verses the same? Is it just a loop? Break it down and then break down those individual sections into its sections. If there's a lick you're trying to get, just try to grab three or four notes at a time until you have built up the entire lick and then practice that lick slowly until you get up to speed. Now this next tip is a little less dependable than the first one, but it goes hand in hand with the first one in identifying the patterns and the components of a song. You want to figure out whatever the chord progression is. A lot of times with these songs, the chord progressions are pretty repetitive. Uh, you might have a two, five, one, one, five, six, four type deal. A lot of songs have that one, oh my God. Once you figure out whatever the chord progression is, a lot of times it can provide a framework for what notes are gonna be in the chord that you're playing, especially on piano. Since there's different ways to voice things, which is why this is a little less dependable as a tip, but it still helps. It at least gives you elimination of other notes. And my last and final tip is to transcribe more often. Learn more songs purely by ear. Forget the notation, forget the charts, learn those jokers completely by ear. It will build up the muscle, I promise you. I ain't have any charts when I was uh, playing, when I when I started playing bass. There is no chart. I did not know how to read in bass clef. I did know how to read alto clef from being an orchestra all of, all of my school years, basically. But just exercising that muscle of training your ear and your brain to be able to pick out whatever your part is and learn it and recall it on whatever instrument you're playing, it will help you improve so much. A lot of these songs have similar characteristics. For the hip hop, for the hip hop songs, for pop, gospel, a lot of these songs, you'll notice a lot of similarities in what goes into making that genre its genre. There are certain things that they do that sort of build its unique sound. All right, well that about does it for me in this video. If you liked it, subscribe. If you liked it, actually like it. I ain't gonna beg though, but it does it does help your boy out. So uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. All right, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> Don't do this to me, no laughing. Okay, 15 minutes, uh, me. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 15 videos, bruh! <laughs>